everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. Boom! <laughs> and today guys, it's Tottenham Hotspurs 1 Manchester United 3. Manchester United getting their revenge back against those pom pom spurs yes revenge back against them cocks yeah guys i know i don't mean cocks as another man because at the end of the day remember they're chris they are cocks at the end of the day they're hens i'm lying they are hens they are cocks at the end of the day they'll be going Co -co -do 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 -do. and today you guys got Co -co -do 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 by manchester united you cocks oh that revenge guys it is a brilliant feeling brilliant second half Come back, kings we are, guys. Do you not agree? Coming back again. Gaining 25 points from a losing position this season. Oh, that's the only good thing about this guy being in charge. Apart from that, the football as well in the first half, dreadful, but second half, it was better. We played some amazing football in terms of the goals that we conceded. Individual, individual British back at it again at its best at its finest guys but i will take this i will take this why because we've just beaten those spurs those pum pums you know those pum pums and Mourinho, up yours to your face you get me i know you're pissed i know you're pissed you spurs and i know you guys are pissed but i'm excited i'm happy Manchester United holics brilliant win edison cavani Brilliant goal, brilliant dramatic winning goal, especially what happened in the first half of that VAR decision. I'm so pleased. And Mason Green with the icing, the icing on the cake. Beautiful. Paul Labile Pogba, Fred Pastor Frederick, guys, done his thing in the second half. First half, atrocious and trash, but second half, he started delivering those sermons. Those sermons was going places, you know. You know, each time he passed the ball, do you live in those sermons for the players? The bull himself even said, Hey, man, Pastor Fred. Hey, man, Pastor. Pastor. Guys, let's go straight into that game, guys. Of course, guys, that first 30 minutes with that VAR decision. Manchester United scoring a goal with a goal being this loud. Lovely goal by Edison Cavani. Brilliant pass by Paul Pogba. In fact, the play itself in general was brilliant. Except for the part that when McTominay slapped son in the face and i thought it was soft because of course it was just a natural body um, reaction call me biased i don't care it was a natural body reaction he was innocent he did not do that he did not commit that crime and of course with that mctominay nicking or flicking son in the face son going on the floor it was given at a fear decision and it was disallowed and of course, the referee went down to the TV screen and made his decision, which I, I won't disagree with him. He's allowed to do whatever he wants. But I believe it was kind of soft, you know, and we just should have been one new up in the first 30 minutes. After that, six minutes later, off now, we can see the goal by Son. Poor defensive display by Manchester United to, for Spurs to get cut, for Spurs to cut through easily and Son was to have so much space in that defense in our own box to concede it wasn't good and guys defensively in that in that goal apart from the fact that Spurs did F all the whole entire 90 minutes apart from a few things yeah apart from that guys that defensive that display was poor and there's so, so, so sometimes we need to look at what we do defensively nevertheless half time Spurs going one new up in the first half second off is where Manchester United showed their team guys Manchester United transformed to Super Saiyan 2. It was that moment there when Freezer killed Krillin. And Manchester United went, Krillin! Ah! Guys, that second half, Super Saiyan 2 level, we gave it to Spurs. Manchester United just transforming the performance. Paul Pogba elevating himself with Fred. Pastor Fred again. Amen with these passes today because it was on point. Certain passes was just smart and clever coming from Fred. He had a good game in the second half. First game again, guys, as I said before, trash, trash. But second half, he did his thing. 
As well, Edison Cavani turning up, Fred scoring and equalizing for us. Oh, at that moment there, I was like, yay. Finally, guys, we are back. We are coming back to win this game. From there, I knew Manchester United was going to win this game because Manchester United was dominating the game against Spurs. They was giving it to Spurs in terms of, I said Spurs, I don't even know why, because we was technically giving them Spurs today because, boy, they, they got it. They got it. Yes. Back to the game, guys, of course. With Manchester United giving it to Spurs, especially with the, with the ball, lovely bit of play with Manchester United. A couple of phases where we was doing well with the ball, opening Spurs up. And then, of course, Edison Cavani scoring that delightful header. Lovely cross by Mason Gunman Greenwood to come on and just have that sort of impact in the game. Brilliant play. Brilliant cross with Cavani scoring it. And you can just see how that goal meant to Edison Cavani. The passion that is on his face. The way he wants that goal. The way he loves scoring goals. I love a striker like that. I do love a striker who loves scoring goals. And you can see it in their face when they celebrate it. It's just on their sleeves. Their passion is on their sleeves, guys. Cavani making it 2-1. From there, we was in cruise control. Pogba doing his thing. Twisting up man them spurs. Just chopping them up. Passing it to Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood, as usual, chick, 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 bang, you know? With a goal, making it 3-1. Gunman has coming on with his gunman rhythm, doing his thing, scoring. Mason Greenwood, I am so pleased for him to get that goal as well. It meant, it meant a lot for me as well to see him score. Greenwood making it 3-1. Manchester United winning the match 3-1. Brilliant display in that second half. Still brilliant bit of football at times in the second half. Not the whole 90 minutes, but at time in that second half. Because you know, you really know what I think about Manchester United playing football. <laughs> yes. Overall, Manchester United fans, I just thought with Manchester City dropping points, Leicester dropping points, Manchester United being able to win today, cementing their second place just a bit more just a bit further you know oh we also caught some points against city you know after city dropping two points against leeds so overall guys brilliant brilliant week for us brilliant result for us we got a uh, players you got not that fuck out today by us definitely you get me it's a friday thing even though it's on a sunday you get me Man of the match today, guys, got to go to the, the person that made things different for us in the second half. So the person that set the trend for the comeback, which has to go to Pastor Frederick, you know. Of course, he's getting the strikes back today because he scored a goal. He did well. I think he, he was very involved. He kind of got an assist as well. Like So, Pastor Frederick doing well. Man of the match today. Don't give the match, you know. I don't have to give it to Rashford again. What did he do today? Because there was a couple of opportunities that he just annoyed me. And of course, Rashford doing what he's doing, not making the right decision, making rash decisions as always. Rashford being rash sheep, you know. But from that, he was my donkey of the match. Manchester United Holics, enjoy this weekend. You can go to work smiling and being happy. Find a Spurs fan and give it to them and tell them, huh, you got not the foul, foul. You get me, bruv. You got not the fuck out. You know, we got our revenge. You know, you may have been a 6-1 or whatever, but we came to your ends and gave it to you 3-1. You know, even with a disallowed goal. You didn't really do much. So, Manchester United Holics, be pleased, be happy. Anyway, guys, this has been your match reaction from Ivor and Spice. You get me? Brilliant week for Manchester United, guys. He hit me. As for always, remember to follow the official Instagram account, which is Reginite TV One, baby, and also the official Reginite TikTok account, which is Reginite TV. And remember to follow my personal Instagram account, which is Ivorian underscore Spice, across to all the other social media, such as Twitter and also the Snapchat, guys. And remember the catch up volume. 39 coming out tomorrow get to tuning in at 8 p.m as always we go live guys we go live and of course we have grenada second leg watch out for that match reaction and as always guys remember to subscribe smash that like button remember to share because sharing i've always spices caring guys of course guys 
And of course, ladies, you know exactly what to do. Any man that tries to move to you, you know, tell them, do you like sports? Do you support Manchester United? Here's the link. And then, and then when they say, what's that? You tell them exactly that's it. You tell them exactly what it is. You tell me you find a man that does it way better than you. Don't try and move to me. I already found a man that does it way better than you. You ain't it. Now subscribe to Ivor and Spice Red United TV channel. Of course, guys. And now, of course, remember to keep it united. And always remember to keep it Red United. I'm out. Peace out. Poof.